Walker. We have new video this afternoon of a car tearing down a Van Nuys Street, then launching through the air before landing on top of several cars. And behind the wheel, a 15 year old boy, Rachel Menatoff, joining us live from Van Nuys with a stunning view of this high speed crash. Rachel. Rick Kareen, according to the police report, the driver was also unlicensed and uninsured. Two other teenagers were also inside the car and are critically injured. You can see the aftermath from this crash here behind us. The driver plowed into this subway patio and then flipped over onto several parked cars in a family's driveway. It certainly left behind a trail of destruction for people who live and work in the area. Last night is uh... In one second, my life is, is, is changing, you know. You were sitting inside watching TV. Yeah, I watched TV in my living room when it only said, boom, and the house is shaking. So I run and go outside because maybe it's, a, it's in the street. I say, and my husband, no, it's in, it's in my house. It's in here. It's in size. The car is, is in the talk to my girl the car. We have stunning surveillance video of this high speed crash from two different angles. The first is from a 3D professional detailing store and it shows the car zooming by just before it loses control. This was taken around 1030 last night on Satakoy east of Sepulveda. A second angle from across the street also gives you an idea of the speed with which this driver was going. Witnesses say the car hit a sidewalk or a bump in the road and lost control and flipped over. The car landed on top of at least four parts parked cars and took out the subway patio. Obviously, three teenagers are in critical condition right now. We know a 15 year old was behind the wheel and this isn't the first crash in the area. According to the owner of the subway, listen. I've been here 15 years, 16 years. It's the third time it happened. And that's the cause of that is a bump right there. People really come in very high rate of speed and they lose control. And by the time they landed, last time I had this whole block wall broken and the sign was broken, it just barely got fixed a couple of months ago. And residents say, unfortunately, this street, Sadakoy, is known for its speeding drivers. They're hoping that this serves as an important reminder to slow down wherever you happen to be. It's not clear yet whether drugs or alcohol were a factor in the crash. That's, of course, going to be part of this investigation. We're live in Van Nuys tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Rick Kareen, back to you in the studio. Frightening scene there, Rachel. Thanks so much.